happy new week guys welcome back to the tvcc channel and this is another intriguing episode of entertainment daily right here on the tvcc channel my name is anita delight don't ever forget that this show is the only show that brings to your doorsteps the most trending entertainment news in ghana and beyond in today's episode of entertainment daily I am lucky with men who are rich. I am not even attracted to someone who isn't rich. And that's coming from Salma Mumi. Mm. And in our second story, Afronita opens Afro Star Kids Academy in Ghana. And that's huge, Charlie. That's huge for Afronita. Guys, don't go anywhere because after this break, I've got the details of these stories. Thank you guys for staying back. I really do appreciate. Now let's turn to our stories. So Delay had an interview with Ghanaian actress and entrepreneur Salma Mumi. Personally, I love Salma because she's so calm and beautiful. Now in the interview, she had spoken on her preferences in terms of romantic relationships when she said that naturally she's attracted to affluent, generous, and rich men that's just her like she's just lucky with men like that now in the interview delay asked her if she's a slave queen and she admitted that she is now she has spoken about the fact that the term slave queen has evolved initially when the word came it was the word that was used to describe boss ladies like women hard-working women who love the good life like luxurious living those are slave queens but in this present day and time slave queen is now used to describe women who excuse me to say sleep around or sleep with many men but she thinks she's a woman who loves luxury good life so she's a slave queen and i think that's fair and understandable right so the in the interview she actually disclaimed or disrupted no let me say disputed right that's the word she actually disputed the rumors about the fact that she sleeps around she said she's so hardworking and dedicated that her food and clothing brand has sponsored her rich lifestyle for a very long time and those who know her personally will know that she's a hard-working woman she also accepted that she has a boyfriend that is so rich that sponsors her luxurious lifestyle this is the interview guys let's watch as slave queens just because obi aje de nim say ejuma poti say na nipa we eh yeah eh yeah um i would say say me nim nti they would call me that because me i'm just an actress and every actress must look good mm -hmm. so i'm just an actress who wakes up look good go for audition and hoping to just make it one day on netflix or one of the biggest um um, um movie houses in mm -hmm. america or mm -hmm. something hollywood so they started calling people who dresses um Slay queens, and I had to refrain from it because I used to call myself a slay queen. Okay. When slay queen started, it was people who could dress that we call them slay queen. All of a sudden, me TSC as a son, meaning of slay queen, and I'm saying, hey, oh, girls, I'm here runs. I'm here runs. So mm -hmm. I just had to refrain from it. But I can't refrain from looking good. But when you're looking runs. good, me here runs. Okay. All my life I've worked. People have seen me work. Okay. And still decide not to believe, say, oh, yeah, Juma. Make Juma. A bit to me, I'm a man, I have a say. Okay. So I really can't say much about that. Okay. And he entered here now, Otono. And on our teacher business class called the Five Star Hotels. Yes, and Tarani Adriani. Okay. Adriani, so was the same, I can answer that and go, yes, sir. Um, because all for a flight to call Dubai, and I said, it cost almost seven thousand dollars. How many places are you going to It doesn't even matter. 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 I'm stating for a fact, sir. Mm -hmm. My food business, my clothing business, they funded my lifestyle. Okay. And then you know, I funded my lifestyle. Okay. I'm a very beautiful woman. Okay. I'm lucky with mm -hmm. men. 
Okay. When it comes to obia ni ebi won in sim. I'm not even attracted to nkofu a ebi ni won sim. Okay. And you know um also no obia ewo ni on. Into kan you are lucky with. Mo get say esika fo nkwa na wono makwa out. I'm attracted to esika fo. Esika fo attracted to me. Okay. So into une hia fo ni agro. Me to me kan say me ne hia fo. Une hia fo dey and yes, I mean, you are moon deity, and I say, Oh, my God, I'm attracted to them. And yes, I'm over my queen, moon, I mean, pure, but they don't come my way. Okay, and how do you meet a scarf one? I don't know. I'm yamming sure I also. Yami, I go to bed and I pray to God. Yami, in baby, I'm free. I've been in me free. And to me, one pair, I'm a trend, say, Oh, ma, me boar for Embrama Brabo. And I guess it's God that is actually answering my boar for now. We are attracted to them, whom in a scarf one. Me bon pa ya chwe nyame no, me si wong buwa me. O hieni hi o biya, o be chana diye. Ok. Into on fa hieni, emba ma kwe mu. Sane hieni biya kompe mwa, o bon pa. Ifi yon mwa mwesika no mko de mwa, mwa bon pa isa nyame shwa mwa ni iska fwo. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Well, well, well. That's what Salma has to say, guys. What do you make of this story? What do you make of all the things that Salma has said in this interview? Let us know your thoughts here on TV ECC. Keep your comments coming in because we'll be glad to have them. Now, away from Salma, let's get to the camps of Afronita. And that's because there is a huge news. Afronita has opened a dance academy for kids. This is dope. Personally, I'm hearing this for the first time. And congratulations to afronita she calls this one afro star kids academy that's how she calls or that's what she calls her dance academy and it's for kids between the ages of three to 12 years this is dope so if you have a kid within this age range and he or she is interested in dance then the only person you can reach out to is afronita now she made this huge announcement on her instagram page and all is set for this dance academy to be launched on the 17th of April, 2024. Here's the video, guys. <laughs> A very good day to all of you. First of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to God and to you for sticking with me throughout this journey and for being patient throughout the countdown. And to everyone that has made this dream possible, God richly bless you. All right, so I'm here today to give my special announcement, my big announcement. This announcement means so much to me and honestly, I can't wait for you to hear it. I'm finally, 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 living my dream i'm introducing you guys to my biggest biggest dream afro star kids academy <laughs> afro star kids academy is my dance school for children here in ghana ranging from the ages of 3 to 12 years and everyone knows how much i love children and this is something i've been wanting to do for so long and god being so good in his own perfect time is happening and it's about to be the biggest thing to hit the dance industry in Ghana. To register your child, the link to my website afronita.com can be found in all my bios. Registration and monthly subscription fees and every other detail will be there. Now to the main thing, we are launching Afro Star Kids Academy on Sunday 14th of April. Make sure you come in your numbers and let's secure the future of our kids with dance. Come and let's spread positivity and unity. I can't wait to see you guys there. Kids, I love you and I can't wait to see you. Bye. Incredible news coming from the camps of Afronita. I'm super happy for her and we wish her all the best on this journey. And that's just about it, guys. That's how we wrap up today's edition of entertainment daily right here on the tvcc channel it's always a delight to bring to you this amazing news my name is anita delight and if you've not subscribed to our channel yet please do so now subscribe to our channel please don't forget to like share and comment i'll see you in the next one guys have a productive week bye